So babe, today is our five month anniversary and I went out to totally not Walgreens and bought you some flowers. I hope that you really like the flower. Babe, who the fuck is that squid over there? Heh, 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 what a simp. Imagine bringing flowers to a girl. Heh, <laughs> you're trying too hard, bro. But that's my girlfriend. Unless, babe, are you cheating on me? You really think I fuck a squid? Like, I've seen bigger black dudes with bigger cocks. Alright, that seems fair. Well, anyway, squid, you better get the fuck out of my house before I call the cops and say this is a 211. Her, 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 whatever, simp. So you see, that is one example of people overusing the word simp. You don't know how many times I'd be hearing simp. Like, I swear to God, every single time. And like, Boomer wasn't even used this much in January. Unlike simp. Like with the example I give, that was like how people unconventionally use the word. Not only is the word used with moms, it's used with commenting on someone's post who apparently was the female gender like donating money to a charity that surprisingly had a girl in the picture and also or even going to your grandma's funeral would be considered a simp move like really now this may surprise many of y'all but one point in life well actually unfortunately quite frequently i was a simp yes yes what a terrible act from a chad like me so now let me tell you the story on how it actually happened it was a friday morning and that day I decided I would grow some cojones and be a man. So I slid into this girl's DMs. Now, let's call her Juanita. Now, let's just say Juanita was kind of thick and pretty. And last year, I was actually making moves. Like, I almost could have had a chance, but like... My mind was so focused last year on like passing and all that I didn't have time for that. But starting this year, she just totally became a different person. Like started hanging out with the cool kids, hanging out with more boys, ignoring old people that were real to her, everything. But you know I didn't really care about that because I thought like it would still be the same like last year. So anyways, I hit her up saying, hey, what's up? So one day I texted her on Sunday morning. And after that, she did not look at the messages anymore. Now, now what I realized was that she barely texted back. Like it would take 30 minutes to answer. And I, I was having patience. Like, that's how simp mode I was going. But after that, I just gave up. Then later on, a couple of days, uh, she posts on her story saying that she likes one of my friends. Now, I ain't saying this is like, like, this is 100% true. But to me, it was common evidence. And... Just figuring this out really hurted me. And so that's where I got the inspiration to this video. Congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> what a simp. Well, anyways, guys, check out my Reddit, by the way. Alright, enough with the depressing shit. Now, let's actually get to what most of y'all are here for. The Roblox gift card giveaway. What started off as just a joke that was clearly stolen from a meme became one of my most viewed videos of all time. And 
I've been getting these questions for years now, if this is true or not. And for and I just wanted to apologize for not uploading. So I decided to actually do this giveaway. The rules are listed here. The first rule is that you must be subscribed to the channel and to my Instagram, in which the link will be listed below in the description. Second, comment on this video saying I did the challenge with their Instagram, Twitter, or Gmail if needed in order for me to contact you if you are the winner. Three, wait patiently. And finally, four, due to the oh no cough cough, this giveaway will last for four weeks, if longer, if we are to stay in quarantine. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and watch the playlist if you are interested in more videos. Goodbye.